Hi there, it's Mark Sabatella from Mastering MuseScore. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and get started with your first score within MuseScore 4. So we've already gone through the initial setup and then closed it down, and now we're ready to start MuseScore 4, and this is how it will start up normally every time you go to use it. So again, because I don't really know how to uh, start programs uh, with a keyboard, I'm going to use my mouse to start MuseScore 4. MuseScore 4, MuseScore 4 pinned. MuseScore 4 button, MuseScore 4 pinned. So it's starting up. MuseScore 4 window, MuseScore 4, MuseScore 4. MuseScore 4 window, MuseScore 4, MuseScore 4. So we are in the MuseScore 4 window, as you heard NVDA tell us. And it, when, you, when you start MuseScore 4, you're going to be on a, a screen that's called the Home screen, or Home tab. And this is a place that you won't be in very often. You'll only be here when you first start MuseScore to uh, be able to uh, select a recent score or create a new score. It's very much like the Start Center was in MuseScore 3. So I'm going to hit Tab uh, to start moving around here. Home menu direction is vertical panel. My account radio button not checked. So it's going to now tell us that we're in a panel within the, within the home screen here, and we could walk through these options. There's my account, and then if I hit down arrow... Scores radio button, plugins radio button, learn radio button, not, my account radio button not checked. So that's what there was, my account, scores, plugins, and learn. We don't actually need to use those, so I'm just going to hit tab to get to the next area of the window. Recent scores panel, search recent scores edit blank. So this is an actual search box that will allow us to search through our recent scores. We don't have any recent scores to search through, so I'm not going to use that. I'll hit tab again. Recent scores grid panel, new score button. So this is a grid panel, and if there were mostly, if there were other scores I had created, they would be showing up here and we would be able to select between them. But all there is in the panel the first time we start is the new score button. So I'm going to go ahead and press it. Space, new score window, new score, new score. Choose Instruments Radio button checked. So this is now the wizard where you create your new scores. And in it's a it's similar but different from MuseScore 3. And this is going to be a recurring theme throughout. I will just say that everything about choosing instruments and setting up parts is probably the most different between MuseScore 3 and MuseScore 4. Once you're into your score, it's going to feel very, very, very similar. But I'm going to walk you through the process of selecting your instruments and setting up your score. So the first thing I'll go ahead, if you uh, noticed how NVDA read, uh, it said choose instruments. The first set of controls is you're going to you're going to select between either choosing instruments or creating from template. So I'll go ahead and hit the right arrow. Create from template radio button not checked. So that's the create from template option. I'll hit right arrow again. Choose instruments radio button checked. Right, we are on the choose instruments uh, tab here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to choose instruments. So I, I'm going to pick choose instruments and not create from template. So it's already selected. So I will just hit tab to start choosing my instruments. Woodwinds not selected. So it said woodwinds. This is the list of different families of instruments. So there's woodwinds, and then if I hit down arrow. Free read not selected. Brass not selected. Percussion pitched not selected. Percussion unpitched not selected. And so forth. It's, this, it's a very, it's, it's essentially the same list of instruments as in MuseScore 3, if you're accustomed to that. Um, I'll keep going through it. Percussion body not selected. Vocals not selected. Keyboards not selected. Strings plucked, not selected. Strings bowed, not selected. That's bowed, not bowed. Um, so that's the list there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit down arrow. Common combo box. This takes me back up to the top of the list, actually, which it says common. This is because by default, MuseScore is really only going to show us the common instruments. If we wanted to have a selection of more, an extended selection of instruments, we could change from common to all instruments in here or something else. But all I really want to do is get back to woodwinds. Woodwinds not selected. So I hit down arrow, and now I want to add a woodwind instrument to my score. So I've, I'm uh, on the woodwinds tab. 
uh, and I'm going to hit tab now. It says not selected, but there's nothing to actually select here for family. You just you just put the cursor on the family you want and then hit tab to get to the list of instruments within that family. So I'm on woodwinds. Now I'm going to hit tab. Search edit blank. Now I'm in the list of instruments within the woodwinds family. And there's a search box here and it will search for all the woodwind instruments. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just hit down arrow to find the one I want. Alto saxophone, baritone saxophone, bass clarinet, bassoon not selected, clarinet not selected. Clarinet is what I want. And I want to add this to my score. There's two ways to do this. The simple way to do it actually is just hit space. It will add it to your score. Um, but also, if I hit tab right now, Add selected instruments to score button. There's an actual button to add the selected instrument. So if I if I go ahead and hit space to press that button, space, it added the clarinet to my score. It actually would have worked to press space while I was just there on the clarinet. So now I'm going to hit shift tab to get back to the families because I want to add a piano too. So I'm going to hit shift tab to work my way backwards. Clarinet not selected and then woodwinds not selected so now I'm back in the family list I'm gonna hit down arrow until I reach keyboards free read not selected brass not selected percussion 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 vocals not keyboards not selected there we go so now I want to select piano so I'm on the keyboard section I'm gonna hit tab to get to the list of instruments within the keyboards search edit blank and now down a couple of times harpsichord organ not Piano not selected. There we go. And this time I will just hit space to add the piano. Space. So I'm now done selecting my instruments. I have clarinet, I have piano. So I'm going to hit tab until I get down to the bottom uh, portion of the dialog where the buttons, the main buttons are. Add selected instrument order, orchestral cancel button. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the cancel, next, and done buttons that you normally expect to see within Wizards. So I want to go to the next screen. So I'll hit right. Next button. I'm going to press this button. Before I do, I will just say the done button would go ahead and create your score right now without giving you any other options. But I do want to look at the other options. So I've got the next button selected, and I'm going to hit space. Space. So now I'm on the next screen. And in this screen here is where we're going to pick everything else. We're going to pick key signature, time signature, tempo, how many measures, we're going to enter a title, composer, subtitle, etc. All this stuff is all going to be done from within one screen. So there's basically three different sections, or yeah, three different sections to the dialogue. I'll hit tab to get to the first section. Score options panel, key signature C major button. So in this first section, it says score options panel key signature. I'll go ahead and hit the arrow button so you can hear the other things. Time signature 4 slash 4 button. Time signature is the next one. I'll hit right. Tempo quarter note 120 button. Tempo is the next option. And now right again. Measures 32 measures. No pickup button. And this is the measures button where you can select the, the uh, duration of your score. Um, and you can always add or remove measures later. So I'm going to hit the right arrow again to get back to key signatures because that's all there is. Key signature C major button. So the key signature section here I've discovered is not so accessible. So I'm going to walk you through uh, what's uh, what you would maybe need to do to, to uh, work the key signature section. Actually, no, we're just going to skip that because it's not accessible right now. We can change the key signature later once we've created the score. So I'm going to go ahead and hit tab now to get to the next section here. So we've already seen that there's key signature, time signature, tempo, and measures. But now I'll hit tab to get to uh, the next section of this dialog. General score info panel, title edit blank. So this is, we heard the score options, now this is the general info. So there's title, and I can enter a title. M, Y, space, S, O, N, G. My song. Now I'm going to hit down arrow. I've discovered down arrow is the, is the uh, command that will work through the different fields here. Composer edit blank. So here's composer, I'll type my own name. M, A, R, C, A, 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 T, E, A, A. All right, so there's my name. Now I'll hit down arrow again. Subtitle, edit blank. Subtitle, I'm not going to enter one. Lyricist, edit blank. I don't need a lyricist. Copyright, edit blank. I'm not going to bother with that either. 
And so that is the end of those fields. I'll hit down arrow again. Title edit blank. And you can see that we're back at title. So now I'm just going to hit tab again to get to the bottom of the dialog. Cancel button. And here we're going to have a cancel. Back button. A back. Done button. And done. I'll hit enter because we're done. My song window, my song, my song. Score my song panel. Staff 1, clarinet in B flat, bar line, single bar line, measure 1, beat 1. So now we have actually created our score and are ready to start entering information into it. And I'm going to go ahead and make that be a separate lesson so that uh, we can kind of keep these kind of manageable bits of information and you can find the right lesson for the right topic. So we've created our score. The next lesson, we're going to actually enter information, enter, you know, notes and other things into it.